Hi everyone, welcome back to Isle 2 Great Battles. Here we are with Josef Meyer in his Heinkel HE 111 medium bomber. Um, we've got another mission today. Uh, today we're going to do a bombing raid on an enemy railway junction, which sounds quite exciting. Last time, uh, <laughs> we were successful when we bombed the artillery, but however our bombs fell just wide because we were on the edge of the um, the formation. And we were bombing with the uh, with the lead flight. Um, and obviously the bombs didn't actually strike anything, so we don't actually have credit to our name at the moment, even though we have done some successful missions. Uh, just the way it is, World War II bombing was not accurate at all, even though people seem to think it was. <laughs> it's amazing. If a bomb fell within a couple of miles of the target, it was classed as accurate. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, we're going to be taking off from one, heading into what looks to be quite a little hot spot. Um, look at this. A little um, nodule of uh, enemy forces here coming over Stalingrad and there's the bomb target just there the railway junction probably the railway station as well just beyond the river uh, worth noting there are three air bases there which could potentially send fighters up so we're flying over Stalingrad that'd be quite exciting so let's have a look at the mission briefing. Designated pilots will be Johan Meyer will be flight lead and obviously will be bombing on flight lead. Sven Weber, Sven Weber will be um, wingman 1. Wingman 2 will be Sven Zimmermann. Wingman 3 will be Josef Meyer ourselves. Wingman 4 will be Hans von Lendroff. And uh, Klaus Jung will be uh, wingman 5. Cover your escort should meet you at point 2 which is marked on your flight map. The date is the 29th of August 1942. Takeoff is at uh, 9 minutes past 5 in the afternoon. Have a quick look at the what estimated target altitude uh, is 4 meters. Uh, target approach altitude would be 3,000 meters. Um, so you can have a look at the, uh, the wind direction and speed there. Atmospheric conditions will be 22 degrees C, which is not bad. Nice and comfy. Uh, primary objective, your mission is to bomb the rail yard located at the waypoint 3 on your flight map. Your mission will be completed once you've dropped your bombs in the target area. Lovely. For this mission, we'll be carrying um, one 500 and four 250 kilogram bombs. Wonderful. All sounds good. Let's um, head to the aircraft. Okay, here we go. Flight lead is rolling. Uh, let's get some flap in. Oh, they got, they're rumbling. We're going quick, right? Tail lock uh, is that one? Brake that one? Speed and some power then. Right, we're rolling full maximum power. Keep us straight. Whoop 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 whoop. Oh, we have to actually dab the the brake. Wow, she's really. Really all over the shop. Right, if I can just try and oh god, we're slewing now. There we go, got it back under control. Right, let's try and pick up a bit of speed now and take off before the end of the runway. Right, gently back. Poor baby. Holy crap! Gear up.
He wasn't waiting around, was he? <laughs> Talk about spacing. But I guess, you know, we lost a lot of um, time with our um, wiggling left and right down the runway. But right, we're up. Uh, let's... I can't see the... Flaps up a little bit. Right, we'll uh, continue to climb. We're very heavy. And, um... Yeah, we'll form up and start heading to target. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we're just coming over the front lines now. So, um, that's not the river we're looking for. It's over there somewhere on the horizon is the big river and where Stalingrad is. Uh, but we can probably pop in and just set up our just set up our bomb site. So we are good to go. Um, right, first of all, we've got the uh, we do three thousand. 3,000 we're bombing from, aren't we? Yep. Um, and our speed is... 300? We've got a sat... Yeah, just about 3, so that's fine. Um, so we're heading 71, 72 degrees. And... It's a bit of a... If we... Uh, it's not much, not much difference actually. So if we if we just go with um, 16 meters per second at uh, 322, that'll probably be okay. Uh, 322. So that's 32. So it's uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and about 105. So uh, if we go 105. About there, and we reckon about 16. It's not much difference, so there you go. So that should be that reasonably set up. And that seems to be tracking nicely as well. Cool. As I say, we will be bombing on the um, so that's a auto, I suppose. There we go. Um, bombing with the uh, flight lead, so that's all good. Um, with that selected, we've got a little bit of time. We can scour the, uh, see the river on the horizon there. Stalingrad will be just in front. Uh, so we're making our way there. Um, formation, we're again on this edge of the formation. Um, not quite Coffin Corner, but uh, not, not the best. Our escorts should be joining us. We've uh, had word that we've got the BF-110s joining us, which is, um, wow, good to see those. I hope we don't have anything modern coming to attack us, otherwise uh, the 110s might struggle a little bit. Uh, but yes, stay tuned, we're heading towards the target, starting our bomb run in a few. There we go, there's a 110. Flying escort for us, wonderful. 
Right, so our escorts are now finally joined up with us. We've got what looks to be a couple of airfields there. We hop on the front gun and zoom in a little bit more. Right, so there's Stalingrad. So beyond that should be. Um, if I grab hold of the gun. Right, so there's Stalingrad should be uh, about there. So, I can see a river going here, so probably where the reticle is now is where our target's going to be, somewhere around there. So, yeah. Ooh, got the flare pistol there, nice. So far, the skies look clear, which is good. Right, you can see the smouldering rack that is um, Stalingrad down there. Right, let's uh, open our bombay doors. Dropping the bombs. That was on Leeds signal. Right, we just come down into the Betty gun. Uh, we're just going to have a look whether or not. Where was that? Where do we hit? Um, there we go. Look. Oh no, that was that was on as on the money. Got some burning. Oh, I can still see the um, the white smoke of the uh, the train station there, or the train steam engine itself, right there. But yeah, we did. Uh, the bombs were, did seem to hit targets. So that's quite good. Obviously, we had it locked um, for the uh, the auto drop for the uh, lead flight, but obviously, lead flight had his set up differently. Okay, that could be good. That could be good, right? I guess it's a case of um, keeping an eye out for any uh, enemy fighters now or any flak which may uh, stop our return home. Seems to be a successful bombing run. Oh, we've got fighters. Right. See five of them coming in. Our uh, 110s are faffing around. Oh, we've got another aircraft low as well. It's a sixth. Maybe they're friendly then. They're faffing. Why are you faffing? Uh, 
No, nah, they're not friendly. Here they come. Oh, hello, sunshine. Oh, somebody's streaming. I'm guessing it's probably the 110. That gaggle looks to be, yeah, that's the 110 that's streaming. The sun glints off their uh, underside. a hell of a battle going on. Hey everyone, welcome back. We are we're home. We're home basically. Uh, oh God, where'd he go? He's there. Uh, <laughs> we are just now dropping down um, and forming up to uh, to land. That's been a rather uneventful mission. Thanks to our escort, they did protect us really good. I did have God, some doubts about the uh, the one tens, but they came through. And they've uh, they did a grand job on those fighters that came in, so um, yeah, well, I don't think we fired the gun in anger, so um, that's good. That's good. You know, probably not that exciting, but it is good from our point of view. Uh, I do notice the upgrade we put on the um, the gun on the front has been taken off. Obviously, not firing the same aircraft. And there they are. There's the rest of the formation down there. doing the downward leg because I think the airfield is there uh, so we seem to have dropped to the back of the pack blooming typical that's not going to stop me though I'll land whenever I choose within reason of course 
So with the setting sun, we've got the bombers turning back. Let's just hold here, so he's going to make a turn in the second. There he goes. Short approach, let's do it. Flap in, gear down. Got an aircraft below us, we'll land behind him. We're a little bit high, but that's okay. We can scrub this, uh, scrub a bit of speed at the same time as we. Get rid of the heights. I will land to the slightly to the side so we don't uh, have any chance of uh, running into him. This runway should be wide enough for two of us. We took off in twos. Down, come past that bomber. Lovely, right. On the brakes. Right, let's uh, cut fuel. Magnet is off. And we're down. Another successful sortie. Here we are, mission debriefing. Mission was a success. Uh, we successfully landed after 1 hour 25 minutes and 7 seconds. Indeed, we hit something. We destroyed a transport vehicle. And we also destroyed two station facilities in the rail yard. So our bombs were on target. We've got some credit at last. And those BF-110s did an amazing job keeping those fighters away from the, uh, the flight. So none of us had to engage. We didn't get any, any credit for shot down aircraft, but um, the fighters did their job. They covered us extremely well. So here we go, second part of the debrief. We can see the raid. Um, Johan Meyer, our flight lead, he got a vehicle, a transport vehicle and a machine gun nest, which is great. Sven Weber, he destroyed two station facilities as well. Obviously, we've got our uh, transport vehicle and our two station facilities, as we saw. Um, Hans and uh, Zimmerman, they uh, they didn't actually get anything from their drop, bomb drop, but that's okay. We've been there. We're not going to judge. Right, coming into the group of Camp Gaskavada 100. I've no idea how you pronounce that. <laughs> I have no idea. Camp Gaskavada, something like that anyway. Uh, all, the, all the German speakers are going, oh, stop butchering our language, you Philistine. <laughs> oh, dear. I apologize. Um, so we still got Sven Shuttle who is uh, wounded. Obviously we're in service. The squadron now has 57 aircraft kill credits to its name. Uh, 91 vehicles which we've added to of course. 19 railroad targets which we've added to of course. 
Heavy weapons of 64 targets. I don't think we've got any of those. Uh, 57 buildings destroyed and 13 marine. There we are. With Look how many hours flight experience these guys have got. We're miles behind everyone. Uh, but we're still alive. Uh, we've got some credit now at last. Uh, so it feels like we're finally pulling our weight, which is great. Coming into our personal records. Finally, finally we get some credit, which is going to go um, a lot to uh, improve our morale, make it feel like we're part of the team rather than just the, the rookie, the rookie crew. We're, we're you know we're we're hours behind in flight experience than the rest of the crews, but we are doing good. In world news, Germans drive on the Volga. German blitz to Stalingrad. Obviously, we're flying over that. We can see that as it's happening. And uh, Stalingrad in danger of collapse. Uh, obviously, wow, look at that. Top German aces in the sky. 119 kills. Wow. And there, we're, well, we're not going to get on this, this rotor at any time. God, look, you'd be 40th and you, you've got 62 kills. That's incredible, isn't it? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. But we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much. Yosef survives another mission. Relative bit of a milk run, actually, this one. Over Stalingrad itself. And uh, we get our first kill credits, which is quite nice. Uh, our bomb aimer skill is improving. And we'll continue to try and improve that next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, hit, hit the thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.